Hello everyone, welcome back. This is the second video in Stream API. So in this, we will mainly deal with the theoretical part. We will see the important functions which are available in Stream API that can be intermediate functions or terminal functions. We will also see few methods to generate or create streams out of either file or some Lambda expressions. So without any further delay, let's start. The first function that we are going to see is stream.builder. So stream.builder is used to build a stream by adding the elements to the stream on the go. So here we can see in this particular example, we are having a stream of string and there we are, we are using stream.builder function and in the chaining side we are using dot add method. So what we are doing in this using dot add method, we are adding a, b and c three components and once we are done with all the components that we want to add to the stream, in the end we need to use dot build function. So this will result into a stream of string. Second one is stream dot generated. So suppose we want to generate the stream depending on some logic which we can define inside our lambda expression. So to do that we can use stream dot generate. It accepts supplier for the element generation. So supplier we you know we can provide supplier as in the form of lambda expressions. So here in this particular example if you see uh, we are trying to generate stream of strings using stream dot generate and inside that uh, the lambda expression which is returning some element as a string element. So if you see I have added one more method in the end which is limit 5. So if I do not provide limit 5 and only code till this point then it will result into an infinite stream because there is no ending condition uh, to this stream generation. So with using limit 5 what we are doing we are limiting the number of elements to be generated for this stream to number 5. So as we know uh, stream is a generic interface and there was no way to use primitive as a type parameter with the generics. So we can only use uh, the objects like integer or uh, long those kind of wrapper objects we could have only used. But to uh, accommodate the primitive data types as well three special interfaces were created which was int stream, long stream and double stream. So these were used to create streams out of the primitive types like int long double respectively. So this is how we can do that. So it will be in stream dot range one three. So here one need, uh, one thing that we need to note that the ending range is exclusive. Similar logic is there for long stream and double stream as well. We can also get stream of file as well. So using Java IO class which is files that allows us to generate a stream of string of a text file through lines method. So there is a lines method available in files class. Using that we can generate a stream. So let's see the example for that. So here we have this path variable uh, object for path class and here we are reading a file myfile.txt which is present in D, direct, D drive and how we can get stream out of it. So using files.lines and by passing that path as an argument this specific code will result into a stream of strings. It will read line by line uh, from the file and add them as different elements of the stream. Now let's see different types of methods which are available in stream. So I think we have already discussed in uh, my previous video that there are two categories of stream methods. One is intermediate method. So intermediate operators do not execute until the terminal operation is invoked. And second one is terminal method. So terminal method is the method after which you cannot do any operation on that. So an operation that starts the internal iteration of the elements, call all the listeners and returns a result. So it returns a result. So we cannot have any further processing of the stream once a terminal operation is called. The examples of intermediate methods are like a dot map dot filter 
and for terminal methods example is dot collect or dot uh, for each methods now let's see few important functions or methods which are used in stream api so the first one is all match so this returns whether all elements of the stream matches the provided predicate in that second one is any match so it is almost similar to all matches but it will only return when any of the element matches uh, with the provided predicate then we have count method what it will do it will count the number of elements present in the stream and return that as a long then we have distinct it will return a stream itself consisting of distinct elements only so here we need to uh, understand that it will do the comparison using object dot equals method so here if uh, the object cannot be compared using this then it will result into an exception then we have empty method this method is used to return an empty sequential stream then we have filter method this is the most widely used method it will return a stream consisting of the element of the stream that matches with the given predicate so predicate will be provided inside the filter as an argument and whatever components of the stream satisfy that predicate those will be returned as a new stream to the next method next one is find any so it returns an optional describing some element of the stream or an empty optional if stream is empty so what it will do it will pick any element from the stream and return it the next one is find first so it will return again the optional element itself and but it will return the first element which it will encounter in the stream then we have flat map this is also a very important method so flat map is actually a combination of map and flat operation that is it applies a function to element as well as flatten them so it is useful to process stream of streams then we have for each method we have already seen in our previous session the examples for for each uh, it will perform an action for each element of the stream then we have for each ordered so it performs an action similar to for each uh, for all the elements in the stream in the encounter order of the stream if stream has defined any encounter order then we have limit limit we have just seen in our one of the previous example it will return the stream consist of element of the stream truncated based on the number that we are providing in limit so if you remember while generating an infinite stream we have used dot limit 5 so that it should return only 5 elements so that is how we can use limit next method is map so it returns a stream consisting of result by applying a given function to all the elements of a stream so suppose we are uh, we have a stream of numbers 1 2 3 and in the map what we are doing we are uh, multiplying it with 2 and returning the same value and then map will result into a new stream with the value 2 4 6 because each element is mapped to its double value there then we have max it will return the maximum element of the stream according to the provided comparator we can provide a comparator to this as well so depending on that comparator whichever is the maximum value of the element that will be returned in similar fashion we have min function as well that is used to return the minimum element depending on the comparator then we have off method so if we want to generate a sequential stream using a list or uh, or an array so we can use stream dot off method and that will result into a sequential stream containing single elements another important method which is peak so it performs an action for each element of the stream and return the same we can do these things with map as well but in map we may need to provide additional statements to return the whole object after making the changes but in case of peak we don't need to return it it will be automatically returned then we have skip method so it will return all the elements of the stream after skipping the mentioned number of elements in the stream from beginning suppose we provide skip 3 
then what it will do it will skip the first three elements of the stream and starting from fourth element it will return the stream then we have two different forms of sorted method so sort, as the name suggests it will return stream consisting of elements of the stream in the sorted manner so if we do not provide any comparator then that will uh, result into a natural ordering but if we provide a comparator then the sorting will be done based on the comparator that we are providing the last method is two array method it returns an array containing the elements of the stream so these were few important methods which are intermediate or uh, terminal methods or operations in our next video we will see almost all of these methods in practice as well so till then thanks for watching keep learning